so there was something we did not talk about. Your current project, Igor, occult detective. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about it, um, Igor, if you could. <laughs> <laughs> Igor is a uh, Igor or Igor. Um, we're using Igor. Okay. Um, we're not, you know, we're not Mel Brooks here. Okay. Um, though there are some Mel Brooks jokes in there, of course. Uh, it's a horror comedy series, kind of, kind of combines like um, 1920s detective stories. <laughs> with uh, like Lovecraftian stuff and other folklore. Lovecraft is a constant uh, source of inspiration for you. He is, is he not? He definitely is, for sure. Do you care to expand on that? Um, I, I don't know. I don't, and go. I, and go, huh? Um, yes. <laughs> I've uh, I don't know. I've always been I've been a fan of Lovecraft since since college, and I just uh, I love the. Oh, Jen, what are your favorite Lovecraft books? I don't know. Do you know who H.P. Lovecraft is I at all? No idea. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Moving onward. Let me get my good side. Awesome. And is Igor a cult detective out? Uh, we did do, release uh, issue one through 215 Inc. before okay. we kind of uh, parted ways. Uh, we're actually going to be doing them in volumes now instead of okay. doing single issue releases. Um, so people can binge read. Yeah, well, and honestly, it makes it a hell of a lot easier to find a publisher in the trade market now than than just doing single issues. A lot of people are kind that of that makes an incredible amount of sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we uh, we initially had planned to do about twenty two issues, but now we're going to do three volumes and then an anthology. And was this the uh, the massive project we discussed yesterday on the Facebook? It, it is. It's. Uh, I've got most of it scripted already. I've got a couple more issues to go, but um, I had to rewrite a few uh, due to some issues. Uh, we were going to do a couple crossover issues with someone, and uh, that fell apart. So. And you said that your betrothed would be offended when I said that women hate comics or don't know anything about comics? She certainly would. Jen, would you care to comment for all women everywhere? I don't know anything about comics. <laughs> okay. So you must have one cool check. What is Jess like reading? Um, she likes Scott Pilgrim. She likes The Walking Dead. Scott Pilgrim? Jesus. <laughs> she likes Batman. Okay, so okay. She redeemed herself there, then. With Batman. For sure. And The Walking Dead? She does like The Walking Dead. Um, she's been reading some of the Marvel stuff. Um, I'm trying to get her to read the Infinity Gauntlet. Marvel, to me, always seems like a big WWF cage match, whereas DC always seems more character-driven. Do you agree or disagree? Um, you're not articulating at all. Where's your kung fu oh, here, Okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> I think it depends on the character. I think certain characters in, in DC's um, stable get the shaft, and the same goes for Marvel. They're, you know, they, have the, they all have their characters that are strong and some that are just garbage. Mm -hmm. um, like Deadshot is stupid. I, I was going to say the same for Deadpool. Deadpool, Deadshot, all, anything dead is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just dumb, I think. That's just my opinion. I don't know. I don't know either. And what the hell is that raccoon? I don't even that's, know what it is. That's the, you don't know Rocket Raccoon? Come on. I haven't seen Gar. I'm the one person on the. Well, Jen doesn't see superhero movies ever. You don't remember? Okay. I mean, Rocket Raccoon's been around since what the 70s? I was never a Marvel guy. Okay. I read I mean, Werewolf he's... by Night in the 70s. Oh, that's so good. It's ex Werewolf by Night I or Werewolf. I love Werewolf by Night. Um, it was a great series. Rocket Raccoon was uh, he's been in the Marvel comics for fucking years. I mean, at least from the '70s, if not the '60s. Um, and he's got a big F and gun. He does. He's a very disgruntled little critter. Does um, he have a uh, kung fu grip, Jen? Does he have a kung fu grip? Apparently not. If he's dropping his gun like that. No, it's okay. broken. <laughs> Can't help it. He's dropping it like it's hot. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. He doesn't know what he's doing with it. No, he has no idea. He has no clue. So what else didn't we discuss that you would like to discuss? Um, I don't know. I mean, we could we could. What 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 are you well? What are you reading now? Let's let's ask you that. What the hell did I read? I read Batman Superman from the new 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 fifty two, and Greg Pak cannot write his way out of a paper bag. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I read five or six volumes of Fables. Harvey P. Cars, Harvey P. Cars, Cleveland. Okay, that I can get behind. Uh, Jeffrey Brown's something or other about relationships. 
which could be the title for yeah, all of his books. <laughs> that one was about religion, which I think Jen would enjoy. Okay. Although it was sort of anti-religion. Mm-hmm. Do you go to church every Sunday, Jen? I do. That's good. <laughs> do, do you? you pray for my soul not to burn in hell? I'm, I will be. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we bid you adieu. <laughs>